Hey guys, I got something in the mail today. Um, you can probably already tell what it is by the title, but I'm going to unbox this for you. Um, it's been a little while since I've done an unboxing, although um, I am trying to come back with those now that the pandemic is finally nearing the end, hopefully. Just got my knife. I might not even need the knife, actually. I really need two hands for this. But I was too lazy to get the tripod from downstairs. Yeah, I didn't even need the knife. Although I might need the knife for the box. I just realized my address was showing on that side. I'll cut that out. So here is the box for the unit. And it's a very like blank box. It's got nothing really on it except for, you know, a few stampings here. Um, and this is a contractor box, obviously. So let's go ahead and open it up. I'm not sure how this opens up. I haven't, obviously haven't uh, had one like this yet. Unless there's like a tab on it. Oh, I think that was right. So, that's open, it should just, sorry about the camera moving everywhere throughout this, but I just cannot do this easily with one hand. What if I just dump it out like that? Or just open it up like that, that works too. <laughs> the other side, it's upside down. So here it is. So we've got a BRK. Uh, 769AC-I, and these were also known as the SA769AC, um, and just 769AC as well sometimes, and SA769 from First Alert. So uh, these went, these, there are a variety of uh, different versions of these, um, but this is one that I actually have been after for a very long time, um, so I'll actually get into that in a minute. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what else came in this box here. Put this to the side. Of course, you got your manual right here, which I'll go through. Um, and this is the warranty registration card, it looks like. So, um, yeah. Um, let's take a look at the unit now. So here is the unit itself. And as you can see, it looks very similar to a unit that you've seen before on my channel. And that is this one right here. This is the BRK3000. Now, the only difference is that this one's a battery-powered model, and this one is an INA, or sorry, this one is a hardwired model. Um, now, this one is, as you can see, it's hardwired, but it also has interconnect. So the AC-I obviously means that the I is for interconnect. Uh, just 769AC is just the normal. Just it has these three wires: the white, black, and the ground. Um, but no interconnect yellow. Um, the label is actually not on the back of the base, but it's actually on the side. And as you can see, model number 769AC-I and BRK Electronics. There's no radioactive material warning on there, but there's the UL listing as well. Um, so yeah, the base is kind of similar to the old SA76RS and 77R style bases like this. A couple of extra holes for mounting it to a electrical box though. Now they also made a photoelectric model of this. I think it was the 2769AC-I and it basically looked exactly like this except it used this cover and it had a test button very similar to this one. And uh, the test button for that was actually on this side but Right here you had just a clear lens, kind of like the tiered button, but not as pointy. Um, and it was just a lens for the LED, uh, because you couldn't have a LED behind a black plastic button, obviously. So let's go ahead and open the cover now. So here's the inside, and wow, I... Um, yeah, first time I've seen one of these in person. It's a very interesting design. Um, 
So the horn is got that smaller base and that larger top portion, kind of like in the horn that they used on the 1769 ACI and the 1839 ACI. The sensor is, oops, almost just tore the label off. The sensor is um, almost like a half coffin chamber sensor. Like if you look at, if I can get the cover off, if you look at this one, it's almost like they cut it off right here or something and just made it like that. It's like half. So yeah. I'm not sure why they just why they used a separate a different design for the sensor for these and why they didn't just use the coffin. Um no, this one does have five microcuries of americium in it as well as just like the battery powered versions did. Of course this one doesn't. This one's the slightly later model, but the original ones did. Um so and like I said, it's got the tiered test button, and it's also got an LED right under the test button, which is the power indicator LED. And then right there is the sensitivity adjust, which you can kind of see through the cardboard. You can get a better view of it there, the sensitivity adjustment knob. Um, and now the wiring actually is a wiring harness that plugs in right on the PCB right here, but the wires run out through a little hole in the back, which is kind of interesting. And here's the cover. It's basically, you know, identical to the ones that the 77R would use. Um, and that the 77R is uh, the battery powered version of this, which um, has the same insides as the SA76RS. So, um, yeah, it, as a result of that, it has information about like replacing the battery and the chirping, which obviously this one wouldn't have because it's got. It's an AC only unit, it doesn't have battery backup. So, um, now is that horn? Yes, this horn is made by BRK themselves. It has the BRK logo right there, you can see. It's got a concave diaphragm. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get this unit powered up and uh, see what it sounds like. Well, I got it uh, wired up and I have it plugged in, and the LED is glowing. And if you can't, can't tell, it's actually glowing it's not glowing continuously, it's flashing at 60 times per second, which indicates that this alarm is not rectified, um, and it's not running off of DC, or doesn't run off of DC. So, let's go ahead and push the test button, and see what it sounds like. Wow, I really do like that sound. Um, that's the first time I've tested it, um, so, uh, I'm going to test it again and just see if I can see what the LED does. The LED doesn't go out or anything. Um, so it does sound kind of different to like this one. If I can get this one to go off. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds not as like... I don't know, that one's got much more bass. This one's not as... It's got like a rasp, it's much more raspy than that one, I can tell you. And this one's got the horn that I was talking about that's got like the more flat top. Doesn't have that lip around the hole in the center. And it's got like, it's smaller as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, I really like the sound it makes. Um, now, uh, for those of you who don't know or who haven't been following this channel for a very long time, um... I've only ever seen two of these, two other ones of these in person, um, and they were both at my aunt and uncle's old house um, down in Arnold, Maryland, and um, they had one in the upstairs, like, they were both at the top of the top of staircases, one was at the top of the main staircase in the upstairs hallway, and I actually recorded a short video clip of that one years ago, and I'll uh, input that right here. And then the other one was at the top of the basement stairwell, um, and that was in like a closet in the kitchen. It was a weird design, um, but yeah, they had two, um, and I never heard them go off, but I'm assuming they were interconnected. 
Um, the house was built in 1988 or 87, I think, so they were original, definitely, to the house. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if they're still there. They moved out of the house years ago. Um, I don't know if they survived. The new owners probably replaced them. Like they, uh, they, I know they replaced some of the vintage ceiling fans before they moved, but that was obviously not because they weren't working. That was because of the cosmetic. So now let's look at the manual. So you got a picture on the front, the old logo. And one thing I also found interesting is that on the side of here is the new logo. I forgot to mention that. I actually just noticed that now. Um, that's interesting. This must be a slightly later model then, when they were transitioning from the old logo to the new logo. So put this open. I might have to put the camera down for this. Unless I can get this. There we go. So, if you want to read anything, just pause. It's probably the exact same stuff in here as the uh, battery-powered models. It doesn't look like there's a copyright date on here. Some of the older manuals did have copyright dates. I'm not sure when they stopped doing that. And there's the diagram. This one's a uh, picture. The one in this picture has the lighter colored cardboard uh, covering over the circuitry. I know that there's the earlier, or the pictures in the old BRK catalogs had it was really dark for some reason. Kind of like the old uh, piezo horns in the battery powered models were depicted as having the red horns in the manuals all the time. Okay, so that's it for the manual. I can close it up. I'll get that later. That's better. Okay. So, um, now this was actually not BRK's very first hardwired unit. The very first hardwired model they ever made was actually the 77 ACDC, or sorry, SS74. AC. The 77 AC DC was an entirely different one. Um, with the uh, 70, 74 AC, yeah, the SS 74 AC. And that looked kind of similar to this right here, um, except it would have had a transformer like in this area right here, and it would have an LED like probably around here. Um, yeah, of course, this is from my. Uh, uh, Sears SS74R rebrand. Um, and then they went from that, they switched over to this design, the uh, 769 AC, which uh, continued all the way up into probably the late 70s when they switched over to the 1769 ACI design, which was this one. And then after a few years, they compacted the 1769 ACI down into this design, which became the standard for the 80s and through the 90s, and even the early 2000s in the SA, uh, the, what was it, the, the one with the, not the 86RC, the 83R, I forget which one it was, um, SA, SA10YR, the 10-year one, which was designed almost with the same exact design. So this was definitely the uh, last design, that the classic, last of the classic BRK designs before they switched to the, uh, like the 9120B design and the 4120. Well, the 4919 came before those, but anyway. 
this one is super cool. I'm very happy to have it. Um, once again, it's one that I've wanted for a very long time. Um, yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and give it another test. Alright. Um, so that is it for this video. Thank you for watching and more to come.